Okay, so I'm going to make some fried mushrooms and I'm going to marinate them in the bowl with some spelt flour. And I'm getting this um, inspired from Ty's Conscious, Conscious Kitchen. So I have sea salt, oregano, basil, allspice, cayenne pepper, sage. I put a little thyme in mine and that's a blend of a, a mock garlic mixture that I made based off of um, a recipe provided by Ty's Conscious Kitchen. So I'll be back once I have the flour. I'm going to also add about, um, depending on how much flour, because I'm going to make it into um, kind of like a batter and let the mushroom soak. And so I'm going to probably put about um, maybe a fourth cup of flour or however much it takes to make it into a batter. And I'll be back to show you how that looks. Okay, so here I have the batter mixed. I have all of my seasoning, sea salt, oregano, basil, um, sage, thyme, allspice, and some cayenne pepper. And I have a little mock garlic mix. And I've uh, gone ahead and um, I've sliced up the portobello mushrooms and I'm going to add them to the mixture. Here's my dry mixture. Um, what I've done is basically put a blend um, of the same exact amount into both bowls uh, for seasoning. And so I'm adding the portobello mushrooms to the wet mixture. And um, once I have that all added, I'm going to mix that in and let it soak for about an hour. And then I'll batter it with the dry mixture before I fry it. And so you're just seeing me add all of the portobello mushrooms. And I'll refrigerate that for an hour. So this is how the mix is looking um, with the portobello mixed in. And I'm going to refrigerate this for... Um, about an hour while I prepare an, an avocado pasta salad. Okay, so I'm frying up the last of the mushrooms, my chicken fried mushrooms. Those are some I already got out the skillet. I haven't given them a try yet, but they seem like they're gonna be pretty crispy. And so that's it.